Assalamu alaikum, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. rahim Today's presentation is about history taking for Aminurab. It's a very important station. Uh, you may face it in MRCP or MRKM, and it comes frequently. Definitions, primary amenorrhea is absence of menses by age of 16, if otherwise normal secondary sexual characteristic, or by age of 14, if secondary sexual characteristic has not occurred or developed. Secondary amenorrhea is absence of menses for three months in women with previously normal menses, or for six months in women with oligomenorrhea. Premature ovarian failure is depletion of oocyte and surrounding follicles before age of 40 and causes maybe chemotherapy, radiation, or autoimmune disease. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is a syndrome characterized by hirsutism, which is excessive body and facial hair, obesity, menstrual abnormality, infertility, and enlarged ovaries. Uh, also, Usherman's syndrome is intrauterine adhesions, usually from uterine instrumentation, like uh, curettage or scrubbing of uterine cavity to remove tissues. Post-pill amenorrhea is failure to resume ovulation six months after distinct, uh, dis discontinuing hormonal contraception. Malarian agenesis in, is congenital malformation characterized by failure of malarian duct to develop which results in missing of the uterus and a variable degree of vaginal hypoplasia of its upper portion. Causes of uh, amenorrhea. There is many causes for amenorrhea, but still pregnancy is the most common cause, which you must exclude first. Causes can be divided into outflow tract causes, ovarian causes, pituitary causes, hypothalamic causes, endocrine and physiologic causes. For uh, uh, outflow tract causes, it might be congenital, like in perforate hymen, transverse vaginal septum, mullerian agenesis, complete androgen resistance, acquired causes like Asherman syndrome, cervical stenosis. For ovarian causes, it might be congenital, like in Turner syndrome, or acquired, uh, like autoimmune destruction or due to chemotherapy or radiotherapy. Pituitary causes might be due to empty cell syndrome, Sheehan syndrome, prolactinema, uh, uh, prolactinoma or hyperprolactinemia, infiltrative diseases like sarcoidosis and hemochromatosis, other pituitary tumors, and uh, some medications might cause pituitary uh, 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 hypofunction, like antidepressant phenothiazines like chlorobromazine, antihypertensives like methyl doba or uh, reserpine, antipsychotics like haloperidol, opiates and benzodiazepine, metoclopramide and uh, uh, domperidol, and also cocaine. For hypothalamic causes, like what happened with high, uh, gonadotrophin uh, deficiency in Kalman's syndrome, infections like meningitis, TB, or cephalus, Eating disorders might affect hypothalamus like anorexia nervosa or bulimia nervosa, malabsorption, rapid weight loss, stress, trauma, and excessive exercise. Uh, endocrine causes, other endocrine causes, uh, adrenal disease, Cushing syndrome, androgen secreting tumors, ovarian tumors, polycystic ovary syndrome, thyroid disease, either hypofunction or hyperfunction, constitutional delay of puberty, and chronic illnesses like liver cirrhosis, chronic kidney disease on hemodialysis, malignancies, sickle cell disease, diabetes mellitus, and epilepsy. Uh, physiologic causes like pregnancy, which is the most common cause, lactation, contraception, post-pill amenorrhea, exogenous androgens, high dose of progestins, and menopause. To start station of amenorrhea, as we know, and uh, as we used to do, we will start as set dialogue and closure. For the set or introduction, we'll ask the same questions, which is greeting and introduce yourself and explain rule. Hi, I am Dr. Hadidi, SHO of Internal Medicine Clinic. So you are Ms. Dina and you are 38 years old. Build a good rapport, like, please have a seat. May I sit beside you and explain note taking, if you don't mind. I would like to take some notes for the purpose of interview, which will be strictly confidential. Agree the agenda. I have received a letter from your GP stating that you have delay in your periods. Is it right? Then we'll go for the dialogue and presenting complaint. 
Can you tell me about your period problems? Is it decreased or absent? How long haven't you got your periods? Do you usually have regular periods? Have you ever had normal periods, especially in primary amenorrhea? History of uh, uh, presenting complaint, which we numeric odbara, uh, or is the onset? Was it suddenly absent or was it preceded by irregular periods? Duration, when did your last period start and how long aren't you menstruating? Progression, is this the first time you have this or it is recurrent? Aggravating factors, do you think it is related to your eating patterns, certain medication or your exercise and uh, uh, regressive factors like do you think it's improved when you're taking or uh, uh, when you stop uh, stop certain medications? Associated symptoms, which is very important. Like, uh, do you have any other medical conditions? Have you recently gained weight, like hypothyroidism or polycystic ovary syndrome? Have you recently lost weight, like in hyperthyroidism or malignancy? Do you have pubic and axillary hair? At what age you had pubic and axillary hair? Uh, it's very important in primary amenorrhea. Have you noticed that most of your friends are taller than you or they have developed breast and pubic hair before you, like in hypogonadism, like in Turner syndrome? Also, have you noticed leakage of milk from your breast, galactorrhea, in hyperprolactinemia? Do you have any impaired, uh, do you have an impaired sense of smell, like in Kalman syndrome? Uh, do you experience fatigue, loss of appetite, weight loss or fever, uh, like lymphoma, malignancy or sarcoidosis? Have you noticed excessive facial hair or acne, polycystic ovary syndrome? Have you recently experienced hot flush, night sweats, moody changes and vaginal dryness, which is premature ovarian failure if before age of 40? Also, uh, associated symptoms like have you recently suffered recurrent headaches, visual loss, or change in vision in anterior pituitary tumors? Do you have fatigue, weight gain, and intolerance to cold weather, which is hypo hypothyroidism? Do you have heart racing, sweating, shaking hands, intolerance to hot weather, which is hyperthyroidism? Do you have chronic cough or difficulty in breathing in sarcoidosis and TB? Don't forget specific questions. It's very important in amenorrhea. We have to ask about menstrual history and obstetric history. Menstrual history, uh, at what age did your periods begin? When did you get your first period? Do you usually have regular periods? What is the cycle? Uh, what is your cycle length? How many days in between your periods? How many days do you normally bleed? Can you describe the amount of menstrual flow how many tampons or beds do you use in your heaviest today? Do you feel any pain or discomfort with your periods, usually with structural abnormality? Obstetric history, like are you sexually active? Have you had unprotected, uh, unprotected intercourse? Do you use birth controls? Could you be pregnant? Do you have morning sickness? Have you ever been pregnant in the past? Were there any complications or bleeding in last delivery? Have you received blood transfusion after your last delivery? Have you got your periods again after your last delivery? Have you been able to breastfeed your baby and for how long? This is all very important in amenorrhea case. After present history, we'll go for past history and we'll ask about chronic illnesses. Have you ever been diagnosed with chronic kidney disease, liver disease, thyroid disease, diabetes, insulin resistance, or blood disease? And filtrative disease, like have you ever been diagnosed with a, a disease called sarcoidosis or lymphoma, premature ovarian failure? Have you ever been exposed to have a high doses of radiation? Uh, and have you uh, ever received chemotherapy? Uh, postpartum, like have you been pregnant recently? Asherman syndrome, have you ever had uterine surgical procedure, infection or abortion or uh, evacuation of retained products of uh, conception? Also in past history, ask about HIV. Have you ever been tested uh, positive for a sexually transmitted infection or HIV? Have you had any chest problem or chronic cough for TB?
and don't forget post surgical history have you had any miscarriages how many and was your doctor able to determine the cause have you had any pelvic or abdominal surgery have you ever had any gynecological procedure or operation like ophorectomy removal of your ovary endometrial resection ablation or uterus removal then we'll go for medication and allergies are you currently taking any medication what medications are you taking have you taken oral contraceptive pills in the past year for how long and what type of pills are you taking uh, might cause post pill amenorrhea are you currently taking chemotherapy or antipsychotics are you allergic to anything at all family history uh, uh, do you know when did your mother stop having her periods did anyone else in your family have early menopause has any member of your family been diagnosed with cancer which is very important for a uh, familial cancer syndromes social history how often and how intensely do you exercise have you ever been told that you exercise too much and do you have depressed mood change in appetite alteration of sleep patterns or lack of interest in things you normally enjoy this might indicate depression are you under any stress have you been under greater than usual psychological stress and how do you feel about the way you look do you feel that you are underweight or overweight how much would you like to weight uh, this might indicate anorexia nervosa also in sexual history have you been exposed to chemicals radiation or heavy metals do you drink alcohol how many drinks per week do you smoke cigarettes how many packs a week you use any drugs that alleviate the mood like cocaine and uh, marijuana what exactly do you use and how do you use it for uh, ideas concern and expectation uh, uh, what do you think might be causing this problem are you worried about this being anything in particular what do you think might be the best plan of action at the end of the station go to the closure which is uh, start with summarizing the main problem. May I take a moment to summarize what you have told me so I can check that I have understood everything that's important to you. Is there anything else we haven't discussed that you feel is important? So I think this is not early menopause, but you have a problem in the gland in your neck called hypothyroidism due to lack of the hormone it secretes, which causes a delay in your period. Plan the next step. So I will examine you first. We may need to do some tests in the form of blood test and may do some imaging. This can be done in outpatient basis. Then we can start replacement hormones. Don't forget to counsel on health promotion. And uh, uh, there are some advice I need to tell you about. Smoking is not good for your health. And I am going to arrange another meeting to help you to quit if you wish. Check understanding. Is there anything unclear you need me to clarify? And at the end, very end, thank you, Miss Dina. Thank you so much. And these are uh, another presentation in our free medical courses channel. Thank you.